the three items four, five, and six uh, into one uh, discussion. Um, Bob, you want to pick up on that? I will. I will start that. Uh, I'm going to make this short. Uh, for our township residents, uh, I updated the board this afternoon that I had received additional information related to the ability of the township board to reduce the salary of any elected official. This information implies that the board may not be able to implement the change, but we are continuing to research this now with our township uh, attorney. I am therefore requesting that the board take no action related to the resolutions affecting the transfer of payroll to the treasurer or the reduction of the clerk's salary. And I return it back to you, Mr. Chairman, for any discussion. Um, we have, we, the major payroll is, is like a, a high priority for this board, that it be correct for our employees, we have 50 plus employees. And that has been, it has not been done well. We've got to find a way to do it. Um, the consideration that we heard last time is nobody wanted us to pay more because they felt it was the clerk's responsibility. Um, according to what you told me this afternoon, it really is not. Payroll is not a it's statutory not, responsibility. It's neither the clerk's nor the treasurer's statutory duty. This is what has come from uh, the Michigan Township Association. Um, I would, again, uh, probably 15 years ago, there was not 50 employees and it was difficult and somebody did it, both worked together. We don't know, we don't have an answer yet, a clear answer on what to do about this. But clearly, uh, they didn't want the clerk to continue the, the pay that they had when uh, they were not going to do the payroll and for us to pay additional money for to have someone do payroll. So we didn't come up with an answer to that because we can, we're all independent. Uh, none of these people can fire me. You can fire me. You can fire any one of those people there. But all of us, we, I, we don't have that ability. So working together is really important in helping each other. So um, we're not clear in terms of yet what steps we're going to take. But we will be meeting again, and I'll make sure that it's public and you all know about it, and you can come and you can hear what that discussion is and what is, is decided. Um, but right now, we're not in a position to, to make a, a move on this at this point. Am I correct? Right. Okay. I, I think, you know, once we re resolve the question, then we will have something to do. And depending upon what that final answer is, we will evaluate cost savings initiatives to make sure that it's not incremental to this year's expenditures. And then we can reevaluate it at budget time next year. The, uh, the time that, as we understand it right now, when wages are changed, first we, we make resolutions as we go through the budget process as to what the increase will be. The supervisor makes a resolution that that person's pay will be X amount of money. The board passes those resolutions and then we take them to the annual meeting. And those of you that were at the annual meeting this year saw that we, the annual meeting was a time when we the public can uh, change those wages and, um, and can speak to them. And that's, that's, the, that's the narrowness that we have right now with regard to whether we give somebody other responsibilities and raise their wages or we take away responsibilities and their wages are less. Um, so we've got to look into that more and make sure that we have all our ducks in order with regard to that. Um, or any further things you want to say about this? Is this something you're considering doing a special meeting? Or? Yes, thank you. I, yes, we'll, we'll set up a special meeting. Um, Bob wants to research it more. I want to look at it a little bit more. We will clearly consult with our attorney and make sure that that is uh, we're, that we're really clear uh, on on this. Uh, it has. It also affects if the clerk is not elected uh, at the next at the election. We have a new clerk coming in. I don't know what that means with regard to the new person. Um, the, we want to do it well and do it right for whoever's involved here. And um, 
we're not there yet. We're not clear on what, what the, all those parts are yet. We're close, but not, not clear. And again, uh, in fact, if you want to tonight, we can set that special meeting if you wish, and even set that up so this group knows when it is. Um, if you have your well, I don't think it's just this group. I think it's in the rest of the by what Mike said. I can't hear you. Well, I said don't. by what Mike said, I believe EMS is expecting us to fix this problem as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, everybody is. I am too. Yes. No problem. I'd like you to define the problem for me, please. The problem with payroll. I've done 298 payrolls with ESMA. 298 payrolls over how many years? Eight years. And I did four more years of payroll before that with different software. There have been some mistakes made by the clerk, absolutely, that inevitably had to do with misunderstanding the software and what the software was capable of doing. We, a few months ago, set up a process where the clerk department generates the information for the payroll. A report is given to the treasurer. The treasurer double checks the numbers, okays, and the payroll is run. The checks are printed. We don't have checks, we do direct deposit. And so, it's, I, I object to the fact that you're making it sound like, what did you just say, Alan? Like this has been going on for years and years no, and it years. No, that's true. That's true. It, it has not. For years. And um, usually errors are made because there's a change in a procedure. Like now we have PTO hours. Um, when we changed uh, how we were doing pension, not how we were doing it, but who we were offering the pension to. It all tied back to software. I still believe <laughs> I am capable of doing this job. I resent that people have me on a deathbed. I, I can't fulfill my duties as clerk. One of my duties is payroll. I have many duties. I have an election going on right now. We have 667 ballots have gone out. Somebody did that, it was the clerk. Um, so I believe I that this has been over exaggerated. As an example, this Saturday I came in to work on payroll and Sharon happened to be here. And between two of us, working with one another more as a team, rather than advocates. It, it, was, it was nice, and payroll came out fine. So I would recommend, my recommendation was going to be that we continue the way we've been doing it for the past few months. I am not in favor of outsourcing to the treasurer. When we talked about outsourcing in the beginning, we were looking at going with, what do you want to call it, a, a qualified company, a professional company, um, somebody who does that for a living, such as an accountant or an auditor. Well, the bits that we got from them were high, but they're not the only ones that do payroll. Excuse me. As a matter of fact, I believe our um, attorney recommended that outsourcing would be a good idea. I can't give you numbers or statistics of how many townships outsource payroll, but I think it's a good idea for a lot of reasons. The taxes, the federal, the IRS, all of those things, when things must change, it would be easy to not know that kind of information, whereas if we got a professional company doing it. So that was, where I thought we were headed with that. Um, at any rate. Uh, has there been any further problems or issues that there have? There have. And, and I think since when? What do you mean since? What I'm asking is since the board addressed and we put into place the double checking, checking 
Kathleen's sister? Yes. Okay, what, what has happened? Here's the problem, Kathy. It's not the treasurer's job. You know what I talked about? I talked about it earlier this year when I brought forward the, the third party. And you convinced the board not to go to the third party, but to have something that would review. That, that review was under an assumption that it was a permit. That the treasurer's job is not to review your work and find your mistake. I'm sorry, but Sarah, you can you can attest to this. And, and you and I have had this discussion. This is a long term problem. We started discussing payroll last year in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. We had outsourced the idea for outsourcing. I brought that. We were upset then about that one. The board recommended that in the interim there would be review. That review should have succeeded in making sure there weren't any more mistakes. That didn't happen. She's still fixing it, and she's not getting paid to fix it. She's not getting paid to review your work. And I'm sorry, if your work was perfect, let me ask you this question. Would you be able to issue payroll without any mistakes without Sharon reviewing it? Absolutely. Sharon, I ask your opinion. No. No, there is still that I can see um, that I circle and give to her and so forth. So, um, in, in the township, we do pay for a subscription, I believe for the SMA to for their software, for their software to automatically figure our obligation to our state federal. Right. The, the thing that I would like to say is that most of the payrolls generated by her deputy. Um, she does an audit a lot of his work, um, and then when I get the things that I can see and things that need to be corrected, but the old adage saying, without offending anything or saying more than that, but garbage in is garbage out. So we have to be careful what we put into the system. You have to learn the system. You have to know it well. You have to operate it more often. You have to learn it. Um, um, just because you put a figure into one spot, it's got to reflect along the way the pathway. And if it's not followed through the system, then it's garbage. Because um, we've had some EMTs that were paid their many wages, overpaid, now we're collecting money back from those employees. Just, and so those are the things you try to catch. And there are there are errors. Well, but I think it's in place from what I'm hearing didn't work. Is that correct? Works. Well, the, the system works. It's no, what I'm saying we're, we're, when we sat down with the board the last time, when we sat here and said, "Okay, we're just going to really double check our job, that will fix the problem." I believe I was assured at that meeting that that would fix the problem. What I'm hearing now is the problem is not fixed. So we have to come up with some way, whether it's this clerk or a different clerk, we have to come up with a way to take care of our 53 employees' paycheck. That's right. That's right. And I think the reason it is expensive to go outside, um, we, we can look at, at Sharon doing a specific segment to ensure that what goes in is the appropriate data that will generate the right paycheck at a less cost than it would take to go out to a third party, which has the overhead that we're also paying for. Uh, Sharon has, in my discussions with her, um, has been very forthcoming in saying she would do it, she would look forward to doing it, and we know based on the job she does in taxes that she will do a very good job. And it does keep it in house. We keep control of it, and it will be done appropriately. And that will allow Kathy to do the statutory stuff and the items that she and I have discussed over the last couple of weeks that need to be caught up. And I have heard from other parties that have been associated in that office that the office needs to be better organized. So the intent is to move. 
payroll off. He did it correctly, and at such time that Kathy is capable of doing it after getting the statutory stuff fixed, we can then reconsider moving it back into the first court. But until that time, I am very strongly opposed to leaving it up in the court. And whether or not uh, the deputy clerk is doing it, and Kathy is reviewing it, but she's reviewing it, and certainly there shouldn't be mistakes going where the treasurer is filing it. It's not like it's a hit or miss thing. So, uh, Kathy, with all due respect, uh, I, I appreciate your opinion, but uh, we will continue down the road with evaluating the transfer of payroll to the treasurer. Um, we're not going to decide that tonight. We will set a special board meeting probably just for this item and, you, and do all I can to make sure that you, you know. I see some of you in here and I'll make sure that I, I send you an email and an email or just if you will pass out that you I mean, it'll be soon. It'll be, you know, it'll be within the, the next few weeks or so at the most, the latest. Am I correct in thinking that way, Ford? You are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you mind to give us a dollar amount as to what it's going to cost to send it out? Uh, I mean, you're saying it's it was expensive. roughly it was roughly seventy five to seventy five hundred to eight thousand dollars just for the pay. 